Hey there guys, I'm Hello Japan, and welcome back to Let's Take a Crack At. In this episode, we'll be taking a crack at Styx, Master of Shadows. Whew, so it's time to jump back to the console side of things. I, it's been a little while since I've done a console game. Uh, the past few Let's Take a Crack Ats have been... Not exclusively PC games, but they've been PC games... Just because I felt like doing PC games. <laughs> uh, and for those of you unfamiliar with Let's Take a Crack At, Let's Take a Crack At is a show where I run through the very first hour of a game. As soon as I hit the new game button, start a timer, have an hour with the game. After the first hour, I give you my opinions on the game and hopefully generate some form of discussion. Uh, you know, whether or not I like the game. If I see it has potential, if I would like to continue on with it, sometimes I don't continue on. Sometimes I say I do. Like you know, I said it with Mirror's Edge and a bunch of other let's take uh, you know a bunch of other games I've done in the series so far. I've said hey, I'm gonna continue that, and I never do. <laughs> That's just because there's a lot of games out there, <laughs> and some of them just you know slip through the cracks and try and keep relevant with playing newer games. But anyway, anyway, yes, I run through the first hour of a game. But you know what I think of it at the end. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully we do get some form of discussion going. Because I haven't had any discussions recently. <laughs> at least none mentioning. Um, if we take a look at the options here, I think I've said everything how I wanted to. Possibly. And, and that's the thing, I don't really tend to show off the, uh, I have not. I, I tend not to show off the options menus for console games only because they don't really matter as much as PC games. Sorry, uh, exclusively console players, they, they just don't. I mean, uh, most of the time PC versions of games have more, of course, in-depth graphical options as well as a few other options that are pretty much PC exclusive. Uh, but yeah, there's a quick look there. I mean, pretty much has what you would expect, so yeah. And with that, <laughs> with that in mind, it's been a couple days since I've done a video, so I'm kind of, kind of rusty. I need to get back into the swing of things, and it's kind of late. So <laughs> let's get this thing started. Here we go, guys. Time to take a crack at Sticks, Master of Shadows. The atrium of Akinash. A world shut inside another. This is what humans do when they don't understand a thing. They build walls around it. They put locks on the doors, and they put soldiers in front of those doors. The bigger the secret, the bigger the lock. And the craziest are those who want to pick it. May my ancestors forgive me. I'm one of those, to my misfortune. Ah, this noise. These voices. I can't stand it. Amber. That damn golden mud oozing from the heart of the world tree. A magma of sticky dreams. All the thoughts of those who wanted to taste the forbidden sap. Humans. Elves. All their private little chatters mixed up in this disgusting soup. A flood of ideas constantly flowing into my head for all these years. It took so long for me to find this place. With each step, I heard my voice a little less and all the others a little more. I'm so tired. It's time to finish it while I can still recognize my own thoughts. The heart of the tree, it's why I'm here. That, at least, I am sure is my own desire. Take possession of this source of infinite power, but also misfortune. 
It's time to move to the first phase of the plan. Drop you a weapon. And it starts now. All right, beast. Wake up. Answer when Lord Barnumin speaks to you. Who are you? Speak. My name is Styx. There's a surprise. The elves give names to their monsters. Where do you come from? I've never seen anything that looks like you. I am one of a kind. It's the elves who created it, Father. That's obvious. They pulled this runt out of their sticky larvae, and they sent it here to spy on us. Speak. Is it the elves who sent you? Why are you here? <laughs> elves. If you only knew. They don't need spies to find out what's going on in this accursed tower. So, you're working for them. What did you come here for? I came for the heart of the tree, of course. I knew it. Those degenerates want to retake the tree and keep their precious amber for themselves. Father, we must bring them to heal while we still have time. Enough, Aaron. I secured this alliance with the elves and I intend to respect it. For the moment, we need the elves. You know it very well. Rubbish. Oh yes, you do need the elves. How many of you poor little humans died the last time you tried to extract amber by yourselves, huh? How many? Hundreds? Oh yes, you do need the elves. But they don't need you. How long do you think you can lock them up in their own world? The amber is theirs. The tree is theirs. The heart of the tree is theirs. And I intend to get my hands on it and take it away from here. They're dying to get their tree back, eh? But they won't do a thing. We have an agreement. An agreement? We don't sign agreements with people who have amber in their veins. <laughs> You're out of your depth, Mr. Governor. Oh, ho, 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 you've got some nerve. <laughs> I'm sure you've never even seen the heart of the tree. Oh, but I have seen it. Since I've been holed up in the bowels of the atrium, I can see it night and day, even in my dreams. And every day I say to myself, Hey, Rakash, the heart of the tree is over there, almost within reach. And by your life, you're gonna find some way to steal it, because you're not leaving the tower without it. the tree. Yeah. Oh, this headache. What? I... Where was I? Shit, my brain is an anvil. Yeah, yeah. The heart of the tree. What did I do with my dagger? I feel naked without my dagger. I gotta find it quick. So it's interesting, because if I'm not mistaken, and I do have very, very little experience with this game. Uh, this was one of those games that popped up on Steam a couple years back, and I noticed it because it had pretty decent graphics for the time. Uh, you know, it wasn't anything to say, oh, that's just a dumb little indie game. It doesn't really have graphics that, you know, can stand up to anything else. But it actually had surprisingly decent looking graphics. Now, obviously here, they've, they've kind of toned it down quite a bit. I've seen a few jaggies uh, indicating that they really don't have any anti-aliasing running, or if they do, it's a very cheap form of anti-aliasing. Well, maybe they have something running. Uh, the game itself looks, eh, it looks okay. Not necessarily next gen, but it does look, you know, good enough. Uh, the voice acting so far, I think Styx is the best voice actor. Uh, he stands out as a, compared to the governor and A.A. Ron. <laughs> uh, the, the governor, whoever that was. Uh, his son. His name was Aaron. A.A. <laughs> Ron. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's, it's okay. It's, it's not horrible so far. Uh, and I do understand that it is stealth. Which could be bad or could be good, I'm not too sure yet. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna see here. Now, the only stealth game I've played on my channel is Dishonored, and Dishonored, you really don't need stealth, so 
I don't know I if this game will let that. me play non-stealthfully or, you know, how it's going to play. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully it's a little bit lenient. Okay. So far, the mechanics are pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Nothing too complex. I don't really understand the whole... The dagger that Duncan oh. found? I wonder where it comes from. It's not from here. Yeah, well, don't get excited. We'll play for it with dice tonight. In the meantime, keep your hands off. Okay, okay. I'll wait till tonight. Yeah, keep your hands off. No need to go grab my fucking dagger. <laughs> that was terrible. That was they terrible. must be talking about my dagger. Yeah. It can be far away. Whoop, boop, boop, boop. Don't see me. Uh, no, but it's weird because most of the time when you have a world that has elves, humans, and I'm assuming this guy's an orc, probably, most of the time they know about each other. Um, but it's strange because it seems like the humans and elves know each other, of course. We've kind of picked up on that. But they don't know what he is, what Styx is. Now, Styx may very well be... Something you know, something other than orc. I, I'm not, I don't really know, but it's weird that they don't know what he is. And why is my arm glowing? <laughs> that's kind of cool. It must be the sap that's actually making me glow like that. That's kind of it's pretty cool looking actually. Okay, what do we got here? I should give me, give me. Flask. It would perk me up a little. Yo, cool, nice. Oh, don't fall. Towards my dagger. What? Well, ah. climbing, I guess. The climbing's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's nothing fancy. Again, it's it's no God of War. It's no Uncharted. It's just jump point to point, <laughs> and uh, down and dirty climbing. I don't mind that. Find my dagger. Okay. Move silently. Okay. But be careful when you put. As many as you react if you knock. Okay. So don't bump into anything. Don't bump into rocks. Don't bump... Okay. Cool. I can't really climb around him, so we're gonna... Ooh, be super stealthy. Excuse me, Mr. Man. <laughs> you sh... You sleep. You... Yeah, you... Yeah, yeah, you do that. <laughs> okay. I think, <laughs> I think we're in the clear. This is one reason why I hate stealth games, because this freaking just makes me so nervous playing them. Cause I'm always feeling like I'm <laughs> gonna get caught. Okay. Always keep to the shadows and walk where it doesn't make too much noise. Avoid running and farting. What? Did they put a fart joke in here? What the? <laughs> they seriously put a fart joke in this game in the very first 15 minutes of the game. <laughs> you know what? I gotta respect a game that puts fart jokes in. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, what? Oh, here we go. That was surprisingly quiet. <laughs> ah, there's a tree. The cool. Tree. It seems so close. But it's a mirage. It's so big that it seems to be close. But I still got a long way to go. So, from what I heard, the only access to the heart is a bridge which that two-faced Governor Barron has had closed off with a tamper-proof lock. He keeps the only key in his apartments. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the whole area is crawling with elves. Area. At intrusive R. Friend. He knows how to deal with an elf. <laughs> so, if I'm gonna survive in this tower, I'm gonna need somewhere safe to get organized, as well as a map of the atrium. Well, I'll get nothing done standing around here. I'll get my dagger, and then it's off to work. He has, like, really cool eyes. 
like glowing. So maybe he isn't an orc. Maybe he's something completely uh, different. If I stay under there, I won't be seen. Okay. So stay. Stay. <laughs> stay under the table. Okay, so now we need to wait for him to turn around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness, I almost bumped into that, like, vase thing. Okay. Whew! Oh no. This just makes me nervous, man. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah, there's my dagger. I was afraid that I lost you, my beauty. Yo! Hmm. There are maps of the zone stuck up here. They might be useful for finding a way to the tree. Let's see. Okay. We got maps of the area. I'll need more than that to get what I want. How do I look at the map? There we go. Pressing down the touchpad will do it. Um. Okay, so it, that was where I got the health. That's where I was being held at the very bottom there, my knife, or my dagger. Now at the very top there, it looks like there's a path that could lead us to the tree. Probably <laughs> probably not that simple, but... Watch. Is there any... Hello? It doesn't look like there's anyone there. Let's try and, uh... Let's get this bad boy open. Oh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm kind of glad that we don't have to do a mini game, and it's just a matter of holding a button. Because, you know, sometimes it's better not to play and just to do. Because so many games have done the whole, oh, you gotta manually pick it yourself. And, and it's cool and all, but it just gets a bit tedious after a while, in my opinion. But, especially if you're playing something like Skyrim or, <laughs> or I don't know. Fallout, you know, whatever, anything like that requires actual picking. But as for the texture quality, it's not too great. Um, I mean, but granted, I think this game, like I said, this game on PC does look pretty stunning. Bit of weird pop in there. It's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, you can see these well, <laughs> these textures are pretty low. Um, it's not a big deal though. Assassins rule number one. Always strike from behind, especially when the fucker is twice your size. <laughs> and remember to land on the carpet to make less noise. Here we go. Let's take this guy out. What? Drop. What? Why aren't you dropping? By the heart of the tree. Shit. Sorry, bro. <laughs> By the heart of the tree. Leave this stiff lying around. That would be messy. Where can I hide it? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> knocking over chairs and stuff. Go in there, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> Where are you looking at? Can I look at that? No. Okay. Duel with the enemy. I don't see anyone. Oh, yoink! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Someone's probably gonna come running. Gotta find the best. Oh, I see. Oh, that's actually pretty neat. It's not just a matter of like hacking and slashing and going in there. You actually have to be semi-intelligent with your uh, with your attacks. You can't just go balls to the walls. I like that. I actually really do like that. Okay, we'll put this put this out. Just be safe. Uh, I don't know how much it really matters this this early on, but you know, better be safe than sorry. <laughs> don't want any nosy guards snooping around here. Now we'll go ahead and open that bad boy. All right, let's keep going. It is very dark though. That is one thing. 
And that, that's my problem with a lot of stealth games. I like games that are bright and you can very easily see what's going on. I mean, you can see what's going on. That, that's not a problem, but it's just... I don't know. I, I like bright games. Sand, a little spit. That could put that torch out from here. Oh, cool. Go and pick that up. Okay. Oh, neat. <laughs> what? Seems legit. <laughs> okay. You know what? I I'm just gonna accept it. It's... That just happened, so yeah. I don't know how stealthy we actually have to be. Because, is it one of those things where if they can't see you, if you're in the shadow, you're fine? Or, and truth be told, I don't really want to test it. <laughs> or do you still uh, have to walk slowly and out of sight? Whoop. Okay. So I guess it is just a matter of being out of sight. Wait. Yo, here we go. Oh. Wait, where in the world am I supposed to go? Past this guy, I'm guessing. Hang on, are they on similar... Okay, so he's there. Dang it. You and my friend are really annoying. Yeah! <laughs> no! Oh my goodness, he almost saw me. Um. Well, shoot. If I can get up there, can I can I do that? Hang on. I can do that. Maybe. Maybe. No. See, again, it's hard to see because it's kind of dark. Okay, so if I if I can get over to the table there without... Dingle Dangle noticing me. Let's try it. Okay, hang on. Let's see, a lot of popping I'm seeing. That's not very good. <laughs> yeah, because if we can... At least climb the side, and it looks like in front of the table over there, there's a thing I can climb up. Hang on. Whew. Shh. Be very, very, be very, very quiet. Go away, sir. Please. Thank you. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoop! Okay. Okay. So right there is what I was talking about. Strange. It's okay. It was nothing. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Dude, <laughs> I was almost caught there. So this is going to be the hard part. I, you know, I'm going to wait until they go over there, because this guy's definitely going to hear me. He's going to respond somehow. I don't know how, but he's going to respond. But we're going to try and get over there. Yeah. No, he didn't. Awesome. Hey, <laughs> you guys are stupid. Shit. Oh, more guards. If I stay hidden behind this barrel, it should be fine. Ew, what? He's just puking out of his face.
you know, I, I, that happens to me sometimes. You just gotta puke and just go on with your day. <laughs> you know, it happens. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, so this is a little sketchy here. You scare me, don't cough. <sighs> is he gonna know? Eh, no, he's an absolute idiot. <laughs> that guy is the worst guard. No, 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 Woo. No, you didn't. Go away. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know where that other guard went. He's sitting there. Would I be able to make it? Let's take a closer. No, don't take a closer look, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I don't like this game, guys. This makes me, like, Clench everything in my body. Oh no. Oh. One thing I can say though is that the loading times, at least that very first loading time, we'll, we'll see here though. Very long. Now, granted, there is quite a bit of stuff going on, and the graph, man. I don't know, man. And I can't say the graphics are good because they're not that great. I mean, they're fine, they're passable for next gen, but you know, there's probably a lot more stuff underneath the hood that I'm not seeing that's going on. A lot more very high-end technical stuff. Maybe a lot more particle effects than I'm actually giving it credit for. And that's kind of why... It's, I kind of become jaded to things like that. Just because I play PC far more than I do console now. And since my PC can handle pretty pretty high-end games... No, not, not the highest end, not by any means pushing it as far as it can go. But I can run most games on Ultra 50 frames up. Pretty much, pretty much. Uh, of course, turning an certain anti-aliasing down or whatever, but I can run most games at Ultra, no problems. So coming to console, it's like, eh, it doesn't look that great, but you know, maybe to most people, and those of you who are exclusively console gamers, let me know, does this game look good? Does it stack up well to other games? Because right now, I'm not too impressed. It, it's okay, oh, but it's, it's kind of eh. Fucking headache. I gotta get me some amber. Yeah, that. That would straighten me out. Down there, maybe? He's <laughs> like a junkie. I need my amber fix. I need it. I'd really like to study these cocoons more closely. It would be fascinating. Ah, uh, quite so, my dear colleague. I'd be willing to give my complete edition of the Encyclopedia of Mycology for the right to decide. A quick peek through the keyhole just to make sure the way is clear. <laughs> Let's take a look. Mm, looks clear enough to me. Okay, now you two scholars don't come over here. Minding my own business, just <laughs> lock picking away. Amber, I gotta get some now. My head is gonna explode. I need my fix. Please give it to me. <laughs> hey, shush. So loud. Oh my god. It's supposed to be a quiet, like, sneaky assassin. He's like, <laughs> Jeez. 
Jeez. Create a clone, destroy the clone. Okay. Thanks to Amber, you can create and control a clone. You can use a clone to enter areas that are in inaccessible or to distract your enemies. Okay. You can destroy it to re and recover Amber. Okay, good. So Amber does come back. Uh, so it looks like this will be our clone? Is that guy gonna bother me? Oh. Well, I got no choice. I'll need some help. Oh, gross, man. Interact. Hello, Control. Gosh. There we go. Run carcass. Ugh. Damn it, I hate doing that. Ugh. Quick. Through the gate. Pull the lever. That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> you want something done right? Steal a body and do it yourself. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got here? Oh no no no. What is that? Ugh. Money or Collectibles. Great. <laughs> Every one of these kind of games is collectibles. Uh, okay, nothing there. There's a lot of popping going on, though. Like, look at that. Especially in this area, I've noticed it a lot. Walls disappearing and reappearing as I'm spinning the camera around. I'm, cu I'm curious if that's a uh, exclusive problem to the console. Or if that is actually a cross-platform issue. Because if it's a cross-platform issue, hey, fellas, get on that. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, no, here we go. Uh, but if it is console, then what you gonna do? Now, hang on. Can I do this? If I use sand... He see me? I don't really know. Hang on, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Can't see me now. <laughs> nice. Come here, buddy. Need to hide you. Cause you're gonna be a problem otherwise. Oh no, I can't stick him in there. What? Ew. Kind of. <laughs> uh, okay. In we go. Before we do that though, hang on. I wanna see, was there anything up here? Or was this just an alternate path I could have taken? Uh, it looks... Ooh, collectible. It looks like an alternate path. As well as the collectible was hidden up there, so... <laughs> Kinda needed another place for one, I guess. <laughs> cool. Alright. Back to sneaky mode. Gigantic here. Hmm. I'll have to use the amber vision to find my way. It's better... Okay, so direct me. Direct me, Amber Vision. Uh, sure. I'm gonna put these things out. So the last thing I need is getting caught. Okay. Yoink. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> hey, buddy. I could take him out. That'd be the easy thing to do. Okay, so he does have a set path. Wears out so fast here. It makes you wonder if there isn't some sort of crap in the air. Corrosive stuff, like. Sure, gross of stuff. Yeah. I don't 
don't understand how. Oh, uh, I get it. It just lets you see in the dark. Okay. That's actually kind of useful now that I know that's what it does. There's a lot of people working here. I'm not going to bother them. Is that the same guy, or is it a different guy? Different guy. <laughs> Shoot. Damn it. Oh no, I'm not very good at the parry thing. Okay, hang on. Let's try that again. Try not get caught. That was that was me being dumb. I didn't see. I shouldn't have gone out there like that. I should have paid a little bit more attention. Uh, where's it gonna put me though? It, hopefully it doesn't put me too far away. If it does, I'm gonna be kind of mad. <laughs> uh, no, I should probably put this right after I opened up the gate. Or maybe even after I grabbed the little collectible token thing. Hopefully. If the game doesn't do that, the game is a jerk. <laughs> uh, oh my god. It put me way back here. Game. Suck a knob. Uh, I wish I could do it like a double takedown. That'd be kind of cool. More closely, it would be fascinating. Ah, uh, quite so, my dear colleague. I'd be willing to give my complete addition. My dear colleague. A quick peek through the keyhole just to make sure the way is clear. No, 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 I didn't. Stop. Stop. I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> well, that sucks. I hate it when games do that. That's one ding off for them. I mean, I get it. You're being punished for not being stealthy. Sure. But the people that <laughs> don't play stealthy games Ever. like me... Gotta get it's so frustrating now. being punished for it. Can I skip this? Pass. There we go. It's just so frustrating. But again, I get it. Sure, whatever. It's it's, it's fine. But it's just like ah. Uh... I wish there was like I think this is maybe there there are going to be multiple paths eventually. But I wish there would be like multiple ways like, oh, you could use a clone to get through that, or you could climb over top and go very stealthily through the banisters. And it looks like maybe you can do that? Hang on, hang on, if you can, that'd be awesome. Okay, so you can't climb that. Uh, and it doesn't- <laughs> maybe, maybe, never mind, maybe you can't do that. At least not yet. Okay, cool. Oh, wrong button. Okay, clone. Nope. Uh, do your thing, buddy. There we go. Okay. Whoo. Yeah, so it's all about just staying in the shadows or staying out of line of sight. Okay, cool. So I'm not gonna worry about hiding this guy. However... Yeah, see, so it doesn't save. That's stupid. Ugh. I wanna get up there because it seems like there might be stuff there. Possibly? Maybe another coin! Hey! Always could use another coin. Okay, so up here. Maybe. Hang on. What was that? <laughs> so you gotta track him up here. No, oh, cool. Then you can knock him, or I guess kill him, with uh, dropping that on top of him. Cool. Same with this. Or it just creates complete darkness. Ah, cool. 
weird texture popping again. It's very strange. <laughs> yeah, it's more so probably made to just uh, completely turn out the lights. Cool. Uh, okay, how am I? <laughs> how am I <laughs> Excuse me. I want to get down. Oh no! Oh my god. I almost died. Seriously? Jeez. Alright, well, we wasted both of our potions there. Oh, fuck, it's gigantic here. Hmm. I'll have to use the amber vision to find my way. Okay, so it helps us see enemies. Okay, so yeah, obviously that's an enemy. That guy up there's not. What the hell is that thing? Let's put a few of these torches out first. Because it put a little, uh... Oh, it's a hiding spot. Oh, shoot, that's awesome. That is genuinely really cool. Alright, retry. Hang on, we're gonna do this again. Everything wears out so fast here. It makes you wonder if there isn't some sort of crap in the air. Gross stuff. I'm the corrosive stuff. <laughs> See, so we can't undo that one because it's Dude, don't see me. Please. Go <laughs> go away. <laughs> go away. I don't want to get caught again. Or guy. get killed. Whatever. These guys are really dumb. <laughs> the first place I would look, well, I'd probably be too scared to look, but the first place I would look would be underneath the table. Just seems like common sense. Doink. Nice! Oh! I thought I was gonna get caught there. So let's see here. Can I carry you... Stay out of sight. I can? Ah, go! Hide in here! <laughs> they do a good job with, uh... Hiding bodies and all that. I, I, I do appreciate a game that does that well. Now the real question is, this is a real question, can we hide two bodies in the same cabinet? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Don't notice me, Mr. Worker Man. Okay, come here. And if nothing more, he'll be off to the side, I guess. I guess that'd be fine. We cannot. Okay. Okay, so that's also good to know. Uh, instead, you're gonna join. You're gonna join your friend over here. Uh, put you down. There you go. Awesome. 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 Okay. Um. Now you are kind of annoying. Can I just knock you out right now? I can. Nice. Okay, so that guard over there... Ugh, does notice. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little pile of bodies over here. <laughs> They're all gonna stack on each other. <laughs> Sick man.
acqua. Nois. All that texture popping on the side is really bothering me. That is a big detractor. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought he was going to fall off the edge. That would have been really bad. It is, it is taking me out of the moment. I, I'm enjoying myself, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, I'm turning the camera and there's nothing there. Or kind of nothing. <laughs> Here you go, another one for the pile. Bring out your dead! Towards the hideout. Now, is that my hideout, or is that... Oh my god. How am I going to do this? Whoop, 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 whoop. We're going to go through this way. <laughs> this probably would have been the smarter way in the first place. Probably. <laughs> but uh, I didn't think about it at first. I saw, I noticed the door when I was bringing the body back. But uh, yeah, me, me being me, I didn't really... Come back to take a look. Okay. Shh. Be very, very quiet. There is like a maester or someone over there. Hmm? Noise. I think I oh, shit. Damn it. Come here. No. Okay. Anyone else notice? You, sir, are going to go in the box. Timeout box. <laughs> and I guess no one saw you, so we're good. We're good. We are still good. Oh, come on. No, let me up there. Oh, finally. Okay. I'm getting nervous. This game is too much. Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, I'm enjoying my time with it. Now, there are, there are those, there's certain things that do take me out of it. The game is very good with stealth. I, I have been enjoying the stealth in it so far. Uh, and again, I'm not one that tends to play stealthy games, but this is pretty enjoyable. And it doesn't force you to play stealthy. You can go out and be crazy and try and kill things like a madman, but you'll probably get killed in the process, so it, it doesn't punish you. So I do like that. Shit. A sliding grill. I'm stuck. Ah, this is impossible. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a better way. Uh, wait, what? Hang on. Whoop. Ow. Over here. Over here. Somebody there? Whoa. You? Hey, sticks. Over here. I'm here. What are you doing? Dialogue. Activate. Um. It's sir. Can. I'll open the passage for you. Hurry up inside. Huh? Oscar? Oh, my head. Yeah. I know that name. Ozcan. Yes. You can trust him. Anyway, you don't have a choice. <laughs> and yeah, not really. Whoa! About time, Sticks. 
I've been waiting for ages. I was beginning to wonder if Barryman and his gang hadn't done you in. There was a slight hitch. Well, I think so. Ah, my head feels like a wagon's gone through it. I will take care of that later. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to tell you that I found a hideout, like you asked me to. I asked you? Uh, yeah, of course I asked you. Damn this headache. Uh, must be why I can't remember what I did even yesterday. Good. I'm off to the hideout then. You'll tell me the way? All you have to do is follow the marks I made here and there. You'll see. This is my personal system. As soon as you see the mark, then you know that one of my hiding places is near. You can go inside. There's one close by, with, as it happens, a list of other hiding places. You'll see. I often put some useful stuff inside. Thanks. I'm off. Whoa, 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 wait! You'll have to pick up the sewer pry bar in another hiding place. Oh yeah, one thing I didn't tell you. The hideout is in the, uh, sewers. But you know how it is. The more it smells like shit, the quieter it is. You'll fit right in. And to think I was beginning to like you. Sorry to disappoint you, but with your looks it's best not to take risks. And anyway, the royal suite was already taken. In short, go on ahead, pick up the pry bar, and open the entrance to the sewers. I'll see you at the hideout. Well, well. Looks like Ozcan carries a flask in his belt. Let's hope I haven't lost my touch. <laughs> So, it is bothering me now. Before it was like whatever, but now it's doing it in cutscenes. Weird graphical glitches like... Uh, clothing being shifted in the, like, right when the cutscene, right when the camera cuts to the, the certain person you were talking to. I noticed on sticks his hood kept like twitching and moving in weird ways. The backgrounds of, you know, between the conversation would pop in very quickly. It's bothering me. It really, really is bothering me. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just... Ugh. Sorry, it's probably very nitpicky. But it is very distracting. Amber... No, I want this. Boop. Thank you, thank you. I don't, do we have sand in here? Because I would really like some sand. Uh, you... No? No. Okay. The sand is I'm actually a pretty useful thing. With my amber vision. Ah, so those are like little fire marks. Okay, cool. In the world are you? Beat it, old man. Oh, watch out, Sticks. After what I did for you, you better keep your tongue behind your teeth. What? What did you do for me? I gave you the plans that will take you to the relics of the atrium. That cost me this fucking amber scar on my face. Besides, one shouldn't go too far. The relics of the atrium? You kidding me, Styx? Yes, the relics. The last objects of the great fallen lords. Yeah, of course it rings a bell. Yeah, well, good luck. I paid enough for this shit and all your schemes. <laughs> I should keep my eyes peeled. These relics must be pretty valuable. Man, no kidding. Dude got scarred for you. At least you can do is... At least you can do is at least help him out a little bit. By finding the relics or whatever. Okay. Okay, whoa, no, I just, oh god, <laughs> just notice now, um, how about you go out, thank you. Come here, sir, oh. sir. Now, I'm curious, I'm thinking if I let go of this, the, the square button, it would probably do something, not weird, but it would probably... Ooh, stay over there. It would probably um, stop the whole animation and he would try and fight back. I would imagine. Unless it would transfer into an insta-kill. That's what I would prefer, but I don't know. <laughs> 
Oh, let's see where we're going. Okay, well, there's no <laughs> nothing here I can do. I'm trying to find his little markers. Oh my gosh, this, it's actually pretty expansive. I didn't realize it was this big. Guy sleeping down there, some patrolling. Okay, hang on, let's go back this way. Mr. Sir. What do we, ooh. Daggers. Hell yeah. There. <sighs> okay. There we go. You are down. Come here. Join. <laughs> Join the bodies at the bottom of the stairs, sir. Company will arrive shortly. <laughs> Another fella there. What? The same animation path. Get out of here with that nonsense. <laughs> unless, unless it's a situation where it like infinitely supplies me with bodies. That would be awesome. <laughs> Probably not. But that would be really, really cool. Nighty night, fella. Okay, there we go. Join that dude. So that's what this thing on his arm is. It's an amber scar. A lot more evident on sticks here than it was on that other dude. But pretty cool nonetheless. Alright, so there's no one else in here. Let's go ahead and boop. Let's turn these things out. Whoa! Born in the shadow! <laughs> cool. Got one trophy. Yoink. So there were ten in that previous area. Oh my gosh. So the sewer pry bar. Oh, is that guy talking? Can I put this thing out? I don't think I can. I don't think he's gonna bother me, so I'm gonna leave him. Just trying to keep everything in the clear. Wait, okay, I mean, not that guy. That guy's gonna be a pain, so I'm gonna go take him out now. Sir, no sleeping on the job. <laughs> Nighty night. <laughs> Time to join the bodies. Oh man, you really do have to think. You can either do what I'm doing and just completely dispatch of everyone, one person at a time, or you can probably play the game as it was intended and <laughs> make up plans and strategies and. Nah, I ain't about that. I'm just gonna try and get in here and get out and <laughs> take down as many people as I can. Let's let's give it a try. Hang on. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> did I did I seriously bend the knife? <laughs> that was some wanted stuff right there. That was awesome. Can I get my knife back? No. Okay. <laughs> that was cool, though. That was really cool. I want some more knives. That was really neat. Hopefully I have some more somewhere. <laughs> that was awesome. 
We have to go down there. Whoop. Okay, good. I wasn't sure which way he was going. Whoa! <laughs> I almost walked. I was going about to walk right into that sleeping guy over there. Everything wears out so fast here. Shut up! Get some new dialogue. I don't want to hear that again. Oh shoot, he had knives on him. Ah, oh, I can pick him up. Awesome! Whoop. Nighty night, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna stick both of these guys in the corner. <laughs> no one puts baby in the corner. Except me. Actually, no, you can go in the box. You can go in the box. Other guy... Nah, I guess as long as you're in the shadows... Over here, out of a possible path, I think it should be good. Stick you in the corner. <laughs> the door there. There's the pry bar. Is there any way to get down? Ooh, there we go. There's something. Damn it. Come on. I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> He's got a dagger in his mouth. No! That's the end. And with that, guys, we come to the end. Oh, we're so close yet so far away. And with that, we come to the end of today's episode of Let's Take a Crack At. So, what are my final thoughts on Sticks? Uh, it's okay. It's not a bad game. The technical problems really, really ruined it for me, though. Maybe it gets better in the, within the next hour or so, I don't know. That's the one problem with this kind of format. Maybe it would be better if I play a little bit and then record a half an hour or 15 minutes and let you know what I think of it. But as it stands, it's not that great. It's fine. It's functional. It has stealth elements and it's playable. Like I said, the texture constant poppins. And I know it's just a way of saving resources, but make it a little bit less evident. Because I have a feeling that this game is running pretty slow. Because I saw it dipping in some frame rates during some cutscenes. Uh, just the hardware on the PS3 or PS4 rather isn't good enough to keep up with the game. I, I get it. You want to move your, you know, your 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 game to consoles because it's a bigger market than PC. Potential market, I guess. Bigger potential market than PC, but it's just. I don't know. It just doesn't translate well. That's my biggest problem. It doesn't translate well. Gameplay-wise, yeah, it translates. But technicalities, and you know, the technical side of things, it just doesn't work too well. It doesn't look too terribly bad, but it definitely looks far worse than a lot of other games. And I guarantee you, this is going to be a game come uh, the end of the PS4 and Xbox One life cycle. You're going to look back at it they say, hey, this was well, close to launch. This was one of the launch titles for the system. Close to launch title for the system. And look what it looks like then, and look what it looks like now. You know, it's, we're going to see something like that. Whatever the new Naughty Dog game that comes out at the end of the PS4's life cycle. They'll be like, this is amazing. And then 
It's like sticks. Oh yeah, I remember that game. It was kind of cool. It looked a lot better on PC. <laughs> We're going to have a situation like that. Voice acting, though, overall, it was pretty good. I, I did like Styx. Uh, everyone else was pretty fine. Styx's voice actor, though, he did a pretty good job. I mean, for the most part, I felt engrossed when I was listening to him. But again, the pop-ins during the cutscenes didn't help at all, though. I do like the putting out the torch mechanic. Uh, walking around, taking people out is pretty easy. I wish there was a way to not kill people. That would be kind of a cool thing. Instead, the only they only have the, the quiet kill or the regular kill. I I wish there was like a uh, kind of like dishonored. You can put them to sleep, basically for the whole time you're there. Um, that would be a kind of a cool feature to do instead of killing them. You know, just to give you that little bit of extra ability to pick the way you want to play. But it was fine. I did enjoy my time with it. Would I recommend it? Probably not. Uh, if you got it for free like I did through PlayStation Plus, then yeah, I mean, go ahead and give it a try. I mean, nothing to lose other than a little bit of your time. But if you are considering purchasing it, I would say probably pick it up on Steam if your PC can handle it. Uh, but don't pick it up at full price. I would say buy it during the Steam sale. If this is something you're really interested in, though, uh, definitely by all means go watch some more gameplay of it, go check out some other people. I know, at least a little while ago, Frozen Foxy was playing some uh, sticks. I don't know if he, I don't know if he still is, but I'll, if I remember, I'll link the playlist to his videos uh, in the description down below. But it is, uh, it is a decent game. Not my favorite. Probably be better on PC. So that's my final thoughts. Anyway, if you played sticks, what did you think of it? Uh, did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you think it was more than it actually was? Let me know in the comments down below. And so with that, guys, that will wrap it up for today's episode of Let's Take a Crack At. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will come back soon with more. I don't know. It's not a weekly thing, this show. It's kind of <laughs> whatever I feel like recording an episode. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time with whatever I make. See ya!